And welcome back to another lovely live stream with me, a girl named Bob, here on Twitch TV, doing some fun time, silly time shenanigans. It is now, ooh, 1.38 in the morning on October 15th, 2024. We are now in the Ides of October, in the middle of spooky month. Whoa! So, again, we have some spooky time streams ahead. However... I, I, I need to emphasize that October has more than just spooky times. It also has, whoa, whoa, what's this? Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh geez. Oh, oh, it's all go. It's, it's all going nuts. It's going wild guys. I can't stop it. It's happening in real time. Oh geez. I just got to be a part of, I got, it's, you know, I can't stop it. Won't stop. No apologies. It do, just don't put it on backwards. There you go. Just get them on in there. Just keep it going. Don't worry about it. I don't know why I thought that this I had to do this live on stream instead of just showing up. I mean, I guess I didn't want to ruin the surprise that it's also Oktoberfest. Yeah. I also have the little I got I got the the I got the um the the, the pretzel glasses cuz you know, it's like bruh. Right here. This this right here. That's the screenshot. That right there. Boom. Clown. I also, they, I got, I got the diddly boppers, <laughs> but I can't wear them at the same time, but these are really nice diddly boppers, and I, they're actually pretty well, they're not silicon, I wish they were, this is just cardboard, these are silicon though, these are, these are nice foam little beers imprinted, it was pretty good, so anyways, yes, October has many things to celebrate about, including being a suspicious amount of German, at least once a year, and I've I've probably done more drinking <laughs> this past couple days. Like this past weekend was like designated Oktoberfest for me because there was a lot of people doing Oktoberfest. So it's like, well, you know, when in Rome, or should I say Munich, you know? So a whole bunch of Oktoberfests were going on. And it was the weekend, and it's like, all right, it's it's time to party. And I drank more in the past few days than I've done this entire past year combined. Even more than St. Paddy's Day from this year. Like, I, I will say this, Oktoberfest, when it gets going, and the, the party starts starts off, you know, kicking all all over the place, like, you, you, you just end up in a coma <laughs> for several days. It's fine. So what happened was... Uh, on Friday, it wasn't necessarily on Oktoberfest, it was just a really good happy hour. And I ended up going to a place that was having the best deals on cocktails I've had in quite some time. And so I tried a couple of their fall cocktails, but I did it in the reverse order. I did like the dessert cocktails first because I was like, I'm in a sweet tooth kind of mood. It's like, no, I should have I should have done the old fashioned first because their take on an old fashioned was for four bucks, you got an old fashioned of of you know, bourbon, uh, with the default well mixer. So not the top shelf brands, not, not, you know, any good whiskeys or bourbons or, or scotches or anything like that. And so I'm like, unless you, you up paid, I'm like, okay, for four bucks, just give me the old fashioned. That's a sipping drink. All right. With, with, with hard whiskeys and bourbons, it, those are sippers. Okay. And an old fashioned's a sipper. And all of a sudden the bartender just pulls out the 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 dispensing well gun and just fills like an entire normal size drinking pint glass with the house bourbon and it's like for four dollars i basically drank half a bottle of bourbon in like 15 minutes because that was my that was my ender drink that should have been my only drink and i was like Whoa. it took me like three hours to come down from that but eventually you know it was fine and then the very next day uh it was the october festival that i went to where i, I got all the swag and it was a great time so i just saw i was like well if i'm gonna do a food based stream might as well celebrate Oktoberfest because the other streams for the rest of the month will be spooky time uh the halloween stream will be coming up very soon specifically more towards halloween but there is something far more momentous. Actually, before we get to that, I also got this sweet beer stein. It is plastic, unfortunately. It's not a real glass one. And it came with a little tiny shot glass with it, too. And so, and it looks just like, it's just like, it's just like, imagine like, this is the big stein. And then just this, this all the way back here is like, comparative, like the little, little shot glass. And then here's the, the big beer stein. So that was nice. And 
in grand old Oktoberfest fashion, we will be celebrating with a nice cold Sam Adams Oktoberfest. And uh, this, this bottle's not from this year, I'll say that. I, I did just buy a brand new, um, what, 24-pack uh, uh, for this season. But I like to, to leave Sam Adams in the fridge for at least a year before tapping them in. And you're, now, with seasonal beers, you're supposed to drink them right off the bat. But the longer a beer sits, the more it ferments. This thing, I because like a year and a half ago, I tapped into a Sam Adams that I had sitting in my fridge for like three years. It was like drinking soy sauce. It was just, just pure like molasses and it was good this thing i can guarantee you has malted all right so we're only having one today to be responsible and this is not going to be a long stream this is not going to be a, a wild wacky stream but just you know drinking and spicy times ahead so let's just put it that way so please state of new york lottery just tchotchke Bottle opener from the 1990s State Fair, please. Let's kick this party off. Right, shall we? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can smell this thing from here, and the bottle cap does not want to come off. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, that's what we're talking about. So, Proust. Let's get this over here. We're going to to do the, the, the normal pour. Boop, 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 boop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Dude, look, I, <laughs> I had one of these at the Oktoberfest, which was apparently three beers worth. Uh, it was pretty good. It was, that was a good time. However, $4 for, um, for half a bottle of bourbon was also a very good deal, I must say, in retrospect. Now, I'm going to leave that right there. Okay. I'm not quite taking a sip of this yet. Not quite yet. That's right there. Do not fall on my computer. I am setting myself up to get absolutely clowned on if anything just falls out of place. Don't worry about it. So, again, it's October. It's Oktoberfest. Rouse, rouse. But I have been looking forward to doing this very specific stream for the past couple months because during the summer I've talked about it several times on stream and I've been I've been devoting my time to this little passion project for the past few months I I was able to get a couple of of ghost pepper plants for free mind you because the farm had given up on it, it was so late in the season so it's just you know take whatever you could I took three of them and two of them have absolutely been bountiful. The third one completely failed, and it's it's very weird because it, it grew big, and it does have the the uh, blossoms, the the bulbs, like trying to um, 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 generate and to to blossom to pollinate, but they never quite took off. They never sprouted, and uh, I I feel bad for that. And I I don't want to just completely destroy that plant for no reason. So I'm gonna uh, that's gonna be my little experiment. If that plant somehow survives the winter months in the house so be it if it dies like with the at the end of the season of a harvest then also so be it i it, i got nothing to lose i only have more ghost peppers to gain so this right here is the first plant that started to thrive and it's my biggest one for counting on on one plant and here we go here comes the boy so here are my very first ghost peppers i've ever grown in my entire life they are the real deal. Let me try getting them closer to the camera. All right. So it's spooky time. It's spicy time. Look at how angry these things are. They are just, they are just mad. They have shriveled up and ripened to perfection. I'm getting leaves everywhere. Don't worry about it. Again, it's the end of the season. So everything that hasn't sprouted wants to just, you know, die because it's like oh it's getting cold outside it's like no no you're in a nice warm house why won't you why won't you just do the thing i'm asking you to do all right which is to give me the spice ye who controls the universe controls the spice ghost pepper challenge i need one listen don't don't worry about it guys 
we're about to we're about to enter the spice zone. All right, I want to I want to make sure the plant is nice and in frame. Uh, see, I should just 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 so it's getting really close to harvesting at least this one plant. So right here, oh look at these, oh my babies. This has been my passion for like the past couple of months. It's been just magnifique. I am trying, because I'm just going to, and then it's just going to be all over the place. <laughs> so the second plant is the same uh, size and has pretty much the same amount of peppers on it. This one's still growing right here. There's a little little guy right here sprouting up. I've been uh, pollinating the uh, buds that are still, or the flowers that are still on it while in the house. And it's still, it's still producing. But these ones are definitely ready to be harvested. The other plant took longer to ripen. And... I have never made my own hot sauce before, and I really am tempted to make my own hot sauce with these, but I also might want to just make ghost pepper poppers. I don't know if I have the restraint to not eat all of these in like the next couple of months, but um, the other thing that I would like to do is possibly dry them out and turn them into just straight up chili powder. The problem is the cats. I, I cannot risk chemically napalming my beloved goblins and they're idiots ever since i brought these plants inside the house all put in an oreo do is just rub against them chew on the leaves and it's like why why are you doing this and they just look at you with those big stupid eyes being like you can't tell us how to live we're ungovernable and it's like you bastards so again peppers of all varieties including bell peppers are Caspians, they're of the deadly nightshade. So the leaves are poisonous. Do not chew on pepper leaves, especially ghost pepper leaves. Uh, the Caspian levels in uh, these little fuckers are extremely potent. Again, I think uh, these ghost peppers are probably, now that they're fully ripened, have reached the full uh, 6 million Scoville units per ghost pepper. Yes, it is bad for, it's bad for any animals. That's why these things get stupid hot. Listen, I also grew a shit ton of bell peppers this year, and that was a bountiful harvest. That's been great. But all those leaves got chewed to hell and back from the snails, the um, stink bugs, every other, you know, insect that, that came around, which was fine. Still got a great crop, and the, the peppers themselves were fine. So the leaves, these leaves are not chewed on at all. Nothing tried coming at these. Any, any type of damage to it is just water rot, which is actually, you can see on this little pepper right here, I guess it's finally time to pick this guy. Uh, it's your turn. This is the only one out of all the ghost peppers that had a bit of water rot and sun rot, and I could just cut through that and still use it. It's still completely edible. There we go. But I don't want to try that right now without actually cleaning it first. But this this right here is the one guy who ripened the first, actually, out of all of them. It's so angry. Look at that. Look at how fucking wrinkled this thing is. When these were green and starting to, to form, like, this guy up here, smooth. They were so smooth. And it's like, <laughs> they're just getting angrier and angrier by the day. So... That's one reason I didn't want to take a sip of my beer yet, is I am going to be eating one of these peppers raw to try out because I've tried them twice before. Uh, once was the very first one that started bud. I wanted to see what it was like, and it was just a, just a smidge heat. And then once all of these started to grow, but ghost peppers take a long time to ripen. I didn't know this until I started growing them. So it takes them a long time to fruit, and then it takes about an extra, like, month and a half to two months to turn completely orange uh they were green for like an entire month's worth of being out in the sun uh probably a month and a half maybe even two months because now right now is october and i'm gonna be harvesting these within the next few days and i got those plants in i want to say june like some either mid or late june so it's July, August, September, October. Yeah, that's like that took like four months. And when I first got these plants, they were like this big. Like they and they were just shriveled up, just completely on the verge of death. Repod them, resoiled them, 
completely organic, no fertilizers, nothing like that. No uh, pesticides, just completely grew them on the back of of the, the back deck around where um, I have a bunch of flowering plants. So if you ever want to get into fruit gardening or vegetable gardening, do a 50-50 combo of flower plants, like, you know, ones that attract uh, uh, butterflies, milkweeds, um, perennials, uh, even like, you know, tulips and stuff like that for, for, you know, aesthetic reasons. But any of the like honeycomb designed or bunched up flowers that are great for, for pollinators, those right there are your, your workers to get these things done. Because uh, well, I got a whole bunch of hornets, the bees, all of the flies, everything else pollinated these bad boys. Nature made, nature grown. It was just fantastic. So I am so excited <laughs> at almost being 35 years old. I got two really good plant worths of ghost peppers. I do want to, um, I would like to theoretically, possibly make my own hot sauces in the future, but I don't know what way I want to do them. I don't know if I want to do a, a pickled type of base, if I want to do a roasted base, if I want to dry them out into chili powder, but I've already talked about how the cat, all of these are a problem because of the cats. Because the thing is, once you, if you start boiling the ghost peppers or any, any of the, the, the main extremely hot peppers, even with jalapenos, you should do this because it's a, a chemical after effect. So once you start getting into to spicy chemicals that are going into the air from, you know, being exposed to heat, such as drying out, burning, um, cooking, grilling, boiling, slow cooking, that is... You're making pretty much bear spray, all right? So if I was to prep these to actually be um, hot sauce quality to, to start the process to get them going, I it's going to look like I'm making meth. <laughs> it's just going to be full on, just bodysuit, ventilator mask, goggles, just the, the, the extremely acid resistant plastic gloves. You know, it's just... It's just a whole thing. The cops show up, they start asking questions, and you just gotta be like, man, it's all about the spice. And they'll absolutely 100%, okay, ask no other questions. <laughs> but no, always be careful when handling extremely hot peppers. Because um, right now, I don't have any gloves on. Got no eye protective, because it's fine. It's just in the plant. That, But even, like, do not handle these at all if you do not need to. Again, part of the Caspian and Nightshade family, so are potatoes and tomatoes. A lot of people don't know that. A bad potato will poison you to death. A bad tomato will poison you to death. Do not eat the leaves or stems or anything a part of those plants unless you want to just die. Those are, it's legitimately Nightshade. I don't know what else to say about this. <laughs> Roasted and pickled, but you're right. Drying them is probably the best idea since they'll uh, sweeten up. Yes, that's because that's the thing. Ghost peppers have one of the best sweet heats. I can't stand Chipotle on its own. Like, not the restaurant chain, but like actually Chipotle peppers. Because it's the same problem I have with red cinnamon, is it's too chemical. But, oh my god, these uh, Carolina Reapers uh, scotch bonnets. I would like to actually try growing scotch bonnets, but I didn't have the chance to get them this year. So Scotch Bonnets, Reapers, and Ghost Peppers are like the trifecta of what I want. And, you know, Scorpions too. Scorpions are a bit more dangerous though. Uh, with like, again, with the animal situation. Because those, those things, you do not get in your eyes. Because then you're not going to have any eyes left. So it's all about, you know, what your limitations are. What you have around you. But, again, just repod them. Left them alone in the sun. And, you know, just took basic care of them thrived. I couldn't be happier. One plant failed, it happens. But, so again, I tried one when it first started to fruit, because it's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta do some science. And it was just a little bit of kick. And then, once it got to about, probably twice the size of this, because ghost peppers only get to about, at most, not even three inches, like two and a half. They're, they're pretty small peppers. So this one's like a medium-sized pepper. A little bit more like that is, you know, Probably the biggest one that's on this bush right now. And I tried one right as soon as it got to its maximum length, but was still green, completely unripened. I ate it. 
no taste whatsoever. It was just water, completely bland. No, no floral notes, no sweetness, no, no sourness, no bitterness, nothing. It was just water. The chemical burn I had afterwards from just eating that thing, even unripened, before it reached its maximum critical heat was insane. And I was like, this is the spiciest water I've ever chewed in my life. And right now I'm itching my eyes before I get to it. Because right now, I am going to eat one of these right off the uh, the off the off the plant. It's gonna be the one of the, one of the bigger boys, okay? And I'm gonna eat it. I got I got me the napkins right here to keep the stems. And if I have to start, you know, you know, just spitting just a bit because it's getting too much. Not. It's the same way when I did the uh, the one chip challenge. Is I don't have a garbage bag here because I am going to be drinking right after this instead of waiting an hour before I could take my first sip. But the key, I I I, I crushed this. I can't help that your your serpent chip killed a kid. Okay, but I would have done that one as well. I didn't want to do the blue chip though. That one looked gross. Ugh. I don't I don't want I don't want the chip to turn my tongue blue. That's just ugh. So anyways, uh going to be tasting this. I've never had a fresh ghost pepper right off the vine, and this is my precious sweet child and I can do whatever the hell I want with it. Again, guys, uh these are hot peppers. Warning. Do do not do anything like this completely off the cusp because you saw someone on the internet do that. Think about it and, you know, be like, should I be doing this? And the thing is, I have a tolerance for heat. I love spicy foods. I understand the risk that's attached, but it's my crop and I'm going to do what I want. So only one tonight and then I actually do want to make some 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 poppers with them some some ghost pepper poppers oh god just stuff them with cheese and and tomato sauce maybe a little bit of the Kahlua hot sauce just as a base just oh just mm, I'm so excited so let's see. oh that's an angry boy I'm not going straight for the angry boy but let me make sure I'm getting one that is completely ripe and that I mean there's a that one needs to shrivel up a bit more this one looks pretty good all right. I choose you, my son. There we go. See, the leaves are already... Because the leaves are starting to, to fall off because it's the end of the season. So the plant, naturally. And the last time I... The last two times I ate them, seeds, um, ribbing, tip and all. So this is the one. This is the chosen one. Let's get that focused in here. Come on, Logitech. Focus on the heat. It, it is gorgeous. Just a little bit more, Logitech. There we go. Yeah, the more wrinkled and the more angry this thing gets, the hotter it is. So this is at least probably, what, 3 million Scoville units? It is the size of the palm of my hand lengthwise. I am so excited. I could, and after I bite into this, okay, the stem is going on the. Um, I'm gonna actually tear off a little bit just specifically for the stem, because nothing that goes into my mouth that is, you know, becomes liquid because it's touched the saliva, is going anywhere near any other part of my face. Okay, once this gets unleashed, that's it. All right, <laughs> it's, it's not getting. It's not getting let back out. All right, so again, everybody, Proust, happy Oktoberfest, everybody. Happy October. It's time to see how scary a ghost pepper spice truly is. So, uh, let's go. Oh. I should have brought the vinegar up here. 
Oh, that's hot. That's that's hot. That's really hot. Oh. Oh, look. Oh. Oh God. Oh. Just right in the back. It's the seeds in the ribbing. Oh, it's the It's good. I really want to make those into into to powder. Oh shit. Ah. Taking smaller bites is a terrible idea. Taking two bites was the worst idea for me. I wanted to do it in one bite. And every time I talk, it reflares up the taste buds I'm trying to uh, put out the fire on. So, ugh. Because even though it's a chemical burn, it still reacts to the oxygen. I would not have been able to do that with three bites. That would have been torture. Oh, shit. These are good. There is no way I can cook these inside my house without... Huh? Without the, the chemicals just going right into like the paint, the wood, the molding. Has to be completely handled outside. Those are powerful. Oh shit, my boys did me good. I'm proud of them. They make me... They grow up so fast. Mm. Oh. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> I ate a shit ton of saltines before this. I wanted to stream this yesterday. It was the mistake I made during the one chip challenge, and I've, I've mentioned this before. I did that on a complete empty stomach. I, that was, that, that burn through my intestines was not funny afterwards. And so if you're going to do hot peppers, just eat a whole loaf of bread. <laughs> That's the trick to keeping your intestines intact. Just, you need some carbs, rice, wheat, whatever. You need a whole birthday cake. It don't fucking matter at that point. You just need something that absorbs the, um, 
the chemicals before it passes through you. Because that, that, that burn was terrible when I did it on an empty stomach. So yesterday, I wanted to stream. Okay. Huh. Wow. That was... That was hot. It's still... Still not done quite yet. Hold on. Uh. So yesterday, I wanted to do the stream. And to prep for the stream, I ate like two pounds of brown rice. And then Microsoft's like, oh, boy, wouldn't it now be a great time to update your computer? And it's like, fuck you, Billy boy. I want to do my stream. So today I just ate a whole bunch of potatoes, baked potatoes, just white potato with butter and salt. That was it. And I, I just had a bunch of saltines to absorb the shock. Do not do these on, a, on an empty stomach. Oh, that's, that's not even funny. Oh, shit. That. Cheers. Oh. Bruce. Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh. Too bountiful harvest. Holy shit. Those things are hot. Those are real good. All right. I may not be doing the, the ghost pepper uh, poppers after all. That might be, like, I would just have to, like, cut one in half and just be like, ah. I'm going to start seeing the future in just a second. Oh, shit. But as much as I want to dry them out to turn into chili powders, I can't do that. That's too much of a high risk for, for the animals, for the cats specifically. Uh but for me, it'd be amazing. And I highly recommend anybody who does not have to worry about children, animals, the elderly, significant others, the neighborhood, your community, add some chili powder. Then you get to, you get to, if you're living in the middle of nowhere in a shack in the woods, have some chili powder. Oh God, that really is like weapons grade, like bear mace. That is, ah. Oh. This, this beer aged nice. Okay. <laughs> this is what you do when you're about to turn 35. Okay. I've earned this, right? See, if I'm going to pickle them, I might as well just turn them into hot sauce. I can't stand pickle textures. Oh God. I hate pickles, pickled eggs. Uh, 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 it's it's like it's like eating a jelly bone. It's, uh, I, I cannot stand the texture of anything pickled. I can barely get through like kimchi and stuff like that. But it's like uh, kombucha is like uh, it's just. Fermentation doesn't doesn't bother me. Case in point, but specifically pickling. It, it's uh, I I don't do well for that, and I'm extremely. <laughs> the vast majority of my my bloodline is Irish, Lithuanian, German, English, and like every all all of those foods just I was not built to tolerate even looking at these without bursting into flames and yet I've somehow I've I've beat the odds but I can't like sauerkraut or or pickle ah, I just can't I just can't the textures are so unappealing to me. <clears throat> See, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of doing a, like, char roast. Even, because I always leave the skins on peppers. I don't know why people get so bothered with keeping the skins or, or de-skinning peppers. It's a, a good portion of the nutrients right there. Clearly, the heat does not bother me, and it's the seeds and the ribbings that have the heat anyways. So, like, I, I don't know. I don't know why people are so, like... Oh, does it have the skins? It's like, just, just eat. You're not allowed to eat the skins? I'm not allowed to eat them? Oh, God. 
I, uh, the past few summers have been great for roasted poblano season. Oh, I love roasted poblanos with just a dash of, like, chili salt on them. Oh, God, those things are great. Didn't get any this year, though. You guys missed it. You fucking missed it. I downed that thing like a champ. Ch ch I guess I gotta do it again, guys. Alright, I'm just gonna eat the whole plant. I'm- I'm seeing into the future. Do it again! <laughs> Alright guys, I guess I'm gonna just have to poison myself for the- the masses of the internet. Damn, everything I do for- for fucking internet clout? On God, no cap. Glizzy. Guys, I just- I just glizzy jammed an entire fucking, like, two and a half long bitch. Ugh. Ugh. Every time I go to Thai restaurants, because Thai, Thai food's my favorite, favorite fucking thing. Pad Thai, perfection. Just absolute perfection. Every time I go to a Thai restaurant and I say, make it Thai spicy, they're always like, are you sure about that? And then I down it in front of them like, ha! Oh! And it's like, yeah, yeah, that's right. But no, I'm I'm one of the few people in my, my, my family bloodline who can handle any type of heat. Like my mom my mom, I swear to God, ground black pepper's too spicy for her. <laughs> it's just Ye who controls the spice controls the universe. And it's like, alright, I, I don't know what the fuck happened in this 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 result, but it clearly was divine intervention. You know, perfection. And so I love I love heat. I love spice. I finally, I now, I, I'm going to be harvesting the spice. That's going to be great. It's just that I know a bunch of local restaurants around here. A lot of Mexican restaurants and, and Thai restaurants who make their own hot sauces and stuff like that. And I've been talking to a lot of them about, you know, their chefs asking them how they make their, um, and barbecue joints too, of how they make their, their hot sauces. And a lot of them do use ghost peppers. So if I get, you know, if anyone is looking for some just high quality product, mm. This beer is significantly above its its recommended alcohol intake right now. <laughs> I've I've succeeded at life. It ain't much, but it's honest honest work. <laughs> Oktoberfest, rouse rouse. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I probably will do. I don't want to. I probably will, I don't know if I want to make it even sweeter, because ghost peppers actually are sweetened, but you do have to, when you do make hot sauces, it needs to balance its out, itself out chemically with like a vinegar base. So if I do the pickling option, I probably will roast, no, you can't roast them and then pickle them, that's that, you're just going to disintegrate them, it's just going to be, you know, slop after that much processing. Either way, whatever blender these fuckers go into, that blender ain't ever seen the light of day again. Afterwards, that thing's going MIA. <laughs> that, thing's, that thing will never be used for anything else again. It's just gonna be fucking, you know, uh, nuclear fallout. It's just gonna be just, just chemical waste. It cannot be salvaged after that. Someday you too can be on the internet drinking a beer after downing a pepper that's very hot. Wearing a cardboard hat and, and foam, foam beer necklaces. What have I created? Do you think that God lives in heaven because he too fears what he has created? I swear to God, the, the little, the little goblins, they just rub all over these plants and it's like, stop it. Get away from them. Why are you going here? Why do you have to go to... Stop it, little Billy. Pudding just... She she just jungle gyms this. Like, it's just like she's coming out of the forest. It's like... <clears throat> stop it. <laughs> she stole one of my cinnamon rolls the other day. I was eating the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls and she just came up and just, just took like a bite out of it like a fucking dog. <laughs> I'm like, pudding. 
What are you doing? <laughs> she is the spice. She's a spicy pudding. She is nothing but the spice. <sighs> what have I created? What have I done? Oh. Oh. So, fun fact. Well, looking up hot sauce recipes on on Google search, uh, I, I somehow came across the fact that three pounds of pure ghost pepper uh, chili, like like go, like ground up ghost pepper chili essence, will indeed kill a human being. So that thanks Google knowledge. Just need three whole pounds of concentrated ghost peppers to be considered weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> this is like, this is like the fertilizer problem, you know? Like, if you start having too much of one thing, it's like, oh, what are you up to? Nothing. Just like the spice. <laughs> Listen, these things are, are, are guarding the house, all right? They're guarding the property. They're on duty. All you have to do is just, just, just fucking home alone these things at someone they're never seeing again okay <laughs> oh oh i want to blow my nose but that's gross so i'm just oh just just doing that oh, okay i lived bitch <laughs> Look at my boy. Look at my, my special sweet precious who's getting leaves all over the goddamn floor. Ugh, I can't take you anywhere. You're not getting, you're not going to Chuck E. Cheese now. Ugh. Not allowed at Chuck E. Cheese anymore. Can't take you anywhere. Whoa! Sure is a hot one. Okay, time to recreate the, the Kone O'Brien hot ones. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fucking fine. I've had hotter. That's not exaggerating. I have had hotter. I oh god, the one hot sauce that I've I've probably the hottest hot sauce I've ever had. Not because the, the one chip challenge isn't fair. Because, again, the dumbass rules stipulate that you can't drink anything for an hour, which doesn't make the difference. It's a chemical burn. Unless you actually nullify the chemicals from reacting to your organic moist parts of your mouth, throat, esophagus, stomach areas, which is, you know, vinegar-based, usually, uh, it, it doesn't matter. So, like, yeah. This is hot. That was the worst afterburn I've ever had in my intestines from any hot sauce. This is not the hottest hot thing I've ever eaten in my life. There's actually one hot sauce that I've had that is by far the hottest hot sauce I've ever had. And it's from a local place around here, so I'm not, I'm not name dropping them. I've had it once. It does require you to, uh, sign a, um, a, uh, death waiver that if you if you're an idiot who decides yeah i'm gonna put this in my body and i die well good luck in court little billy so you have to sign that and it, it, they also have a rule it's eat it in like 15 minutes like 10 of the wings i didn't want to do it for the competition i'm not a speed eater i'm a i'm a hot enthusiast okay i hate time challenges i don't give a shit about winning prizes or anything like that i just i do this for fun we are not the same you want to eat the spice for a free t-shirt. I want the spice for the spice. We are not the same, okay? I just ate a whole ghost pepper because I could. And because I wanted to. <laughs> we are not built the same. So, this one one bar has this, this sauce that is ghost pepper, habanero, uh, Carolina Reapers, 
I don't know if it's scorpions and possibly scotch buns. There's something else. There's another of the, the, the hotter peppers. But I don't think it's scorpion because that chip right there is the first time I've ever had scorpions. And those things are hot. But it was ghost peppers, reapers, and... I can't remember the other ultra hot pepper because uh, if you think habaneros are hot, then we, don't talk to me or my son ever again. Okay. <laughs> Bell pepper, too spicy. <laughs> if you're at moist critical levels of spice, I'm sorry. We're just built different. So that thing was just legitimately just, just chemicals on wings <laughs> and like... I, 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 I ordered them, brought them home, ate them here. Like, my face is covered. I'm just sitting here, like, staring at the wall for, like, a half hour of, of basically doing the Homer Simpson fucking spicy challenge meme. And it's like, I think I, I, I'm, I'm hallucinating. <laughs> I had myself a vision quest from that experience. That is the hottest hot sauce I've ever had. And it's, you can't buy it anywhere. They make it in-house and it's, it's made by the batch when ready, you know, and all that kind of stuff. That shit's hot. That shit, that shit is not to be fucked around with. It took me like two days to finish off the 10 wings without hurting myself, you know, responsibly. The people who, who tried doing that, the, the, usually it's the dumb frat bros, the, you know, college kids, they, they survival of the fittest, am I right? So they end up doing the dumbass challenge and it's like, oh God. My kidney ruptured. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Please tell me more of how you did not see that happening. <laughs> I was making effort to build up the spice tolerance lately. The bell pepper is too hot. <laughs> Salting crackers are too spicy. There's there's too much flavor here. Basically, he has the palate of a British national. The bangers and mash are just, I, I, the, the, I, I can't, I can't make British food jokes right now. It's, it's too, I am not in the, the sound mind of, of, of doing that. I, I'm not going anywhere near that right now. Okay. It's fine. Man, a spicy aioli. Okay. There, it's too spicy. It's, it's too spicy. Ah, <sighs> if you're feeling adventurous, that's. Whoa now. Whoa, you need to pump the brakes. You need you need to stop right there. Oh. But yeah, so yesterday I wanted to do the stream. Ate two pounds of brown rice. Got cock blocked by Bill Gates by saying Windows 10 needs to fucking update once more your system 64. It's like, okay. And so today I just just you want starches to absorb the chemicals to pass through you. That's the best case, best advice I can give you, whether it be whole wheat, uh, grains, potatoes, rice, any of the heavy wheats, no, nothing vegetables, nothing, nothing that's just like fibrous because fiber doesn't absorb that type of chemicals. You need something starchy. All right. Eat a whole birthday cake. All right. You're going to be fine. Milk. And, and dairy products, and the beer does nothing either to, to counteract the actual burn or anything like that. It's just, you know, helps wash away the chemicals from constantly burning the skin. Because that, that first hit, as soon as it went to the back of my throat, because I still have my tonsils. I've had it my whole life. It's, it's crazy like that. It just latched on, and it just stayed here. And then it just kept going slowly and slowly, and then it just hits right here where the heartburn section is. If you have esophageal problems, if you have heartburn, if you have fucking stomach ulcers, do not do what I just did at all. Don't even think about it. Don't even look at my son. What is wrong with you? <laughs> remember, remember when a year ago I had my first colonoscopy done and it was fine. And then I instantly went out to get pancakes from a diner and a caught E. coli. That sure was a time, 2023. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I live a, a wild and wacky life. Let's put it that way. Uh, funnily enough, uh, spice, peppers in particular, the Caspian, 
uh, chemical por uh, properties of it actually is very um, good for gut health because it will just napalm anything down there. And if you start taking, you know, probiotics to help encourage a good, healthy uh, gut environment, that, that actually does help. <sighs> but in moderation, let's put it that way, because also it's been linked like extreme um, pickled diets have a higher risk of um, like pickled foods like sauerkrauts, uh, kimchi, all that. Uh, South Korea has one of the highest cases of stomach cancers for its population. My grandmother actually died from stomach, stomach cancer, but the entire Lithuanian bloodline of my family is just cursed to have organs made out of paper, but it's fine. I'm doing okay. My bones are crumbling, but as long as I still got my kidneys, I'm good, okay? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yo, what up, rats, rats, ready, rat, rats? So it's already been proven to be linked that higher, like, pickled foods for in a long diet does increase your risk to stomach cancer. So always, always keep that in mind. Moderation. Just, just moderation. Not, not too extreme. Just, just moderation, you know? Says the person who ate a whole fucking ghost pepper just for the fuck of it. <laughs> Listen. Heed my warnings. Do not mimic the clown on the internet, okay? <laughs> Gotta get ready for bed. Well, thanks for stopping by. I, sh I mean, I, I, I sure hope that this was... I started the stream, like, like... 15 minutes and I was, I was, I've been so excited to finally eat these things. I've been, I, I've been just obsessed with taking care of these plants. I'm, I'm very, I am legitimately saddened by the fact that the third plant never, never produced any fruit, let alone any blossoms. It's like, damn it. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you the whole time. Oh, oh again, for those who missed the beginning of the stream, not only did I get the sweet deeds and the hat, I got me, I got me the pretzel glasses. Okay. Just, just, you know, like that. And I got me the diddly bobbers, just like, you know, like, like, like this. There you go. So, um, my life's going fine. <laughs> nice. Oh. <sighs> I am glad I ate those saltine crackers. I would have liked to have done this with two pounds of rice, but hey, teach their own. Yeah, you you absolutely cannot cook these inside of any type of building without you just just completely turning your 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 kitchen into a a, a, a hazardous waste. You know, <laughs> fucking Chernobyl meltdown, ground zero esque situation. These have to be prepped and done outside. I, I could, I could do a slow cooker, power, uh, a pressure cooker, but damn, that, that is like a legit ticking time bomb. I really want to dry these and, and do the chili, chili pepper, but I can't. That is, that is too dangerous. I just can't. There, I'd have to put it behind a fucking vault. I'd have to install a vault into my house to protect these, Okay. So, that's, 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 oh, rats! How's how's pigeon doing? How's how's kitty cats doing? I hope they are doing fine. Oh, next. Oh. All right. <coughs> Time to become a. <coughs> I just got the spice kick back up. And the, uh, it's still there. Uh. All right, time to become a goddamn kick streamer. Let's go in for round number two, baby. While I'm going 120 down the fucking highway in my Lamborghini. Let's fucking get those views, baby. <laughs> Making great life choices. All right, for the internet. Oh shit, it's candy time. Ugh. 
Ugh. If she's uh, if she's going in the litter box for, to to as a, a way to like the the cat feel safe, possibly put uh, a cat bed or a cardboard box close to the litter box so that she can then eventually go towards the non. Because you don't want cats to get used to the idea of sleeping in a litter box, uh, because it uh, then also uh, it 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 builds in the words it reinforces their suspicions about the environment around them to where they don't feel safe you want to start making them feel safer and safer and maybe at some point even when they're on the dormer if they're not using the litter box and you can can watch them for like a day or two cover the lid until they want to go in and if they aren't using the litter box like digging and trying to use it but just lay down pick them up take them out and put them in a cardboard box and slowly move the box further and further away from the litter box so it smells like them but they start to feel safer in their environment oh oh Yeah, she's just being skittish right now. But you don't you don't want it to be a long term habit of cat continues to see litter box as place to sleep. That's just something that that requires some some time and effort to. But hopefully she will stop doing that sooner rather than later. Uh, oh, 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 what have I done? Actually, the other thing about Caspian. The burning properties of, of peppers. It's actually a really good anti-inflammatory for, you know, arthritis. So I actually thought about maybe, possibly, instead of just making hot sauces, maybe I just make a ghost pepper, like, apply on cream for my joints. What could go wrong with that? Just chemically burn all the skin off my body? I don't see a problem with that. Let's go. That's the fountain of youth right there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, my cats don't like uh, uh, big plush cat beds either. They they love cardboard boxes. God, they 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 just they're they're box trolls, man. Oh. And yes, for those of you watching who are not my usual street or you know viewers for for my streams or any of my other video content, I did indeed do the Piki one chip challenge. That is available on Twitch and on my YouTube. If you would like to see exactly the moment. We're 40 minutes into that challenge. It's, God, I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> it's like exactly 40 fucking minutes into that hour-long challenge. Everything was fine. Everything was fine. And then, boom, small intestines. Oh, God, that was, that was the worst burn of my life. That was that link. That was just pain, and there's nothing you can do about it at that point. You just have to just just ride it out. Oh, I have no idea why I did that challenge on an empty stomach, but hey, live and let learn, right? Yeah, if you have any type of known heart problems doesn't matter if you have palpitations if you have a murmur if you have high blood pressure do not eat hot peppers you you will stop your fucking heart that's actually what probably happened because okay so with the piki one chip challenge i should not be touching my eyes mm, had to remind myself that but anyways so last year or earlier this year whichever one uh the year I think, yeah, so 2024, early in 2024, Paki uh, released the One Chip Challenge of 2024 where it was the Serpent's Kiss, I think. It was um, Viper Peppers with, uh, I think, the Scorpions and the Reapers. And one kid did the challenge and dropped dead from it, but he had a history of, of heart failure, and after that... They pulled all the chips off the fucking shelf. It's like, okay, uh, we might have gone a bit too hard on the spice here. And it's like, do not, do not 
provoke fate. If you have underlying conditions that you are aware of, and if you have a family history of said conditions that you are unaware of having yourself, keep that in mind. Just like how I have to keep in mind that my grandmother died from goddamn stomach cancer. It's just constantly in the back of my head. I got everything else from her, so it's just like, you know, I don't know. Dude, organ cancers are the worst fucking cancer because organs are smooth. So there's not that many nerve endings on the inside or even around them uh, in order to feel pain or any type of, of, of um, unease or, or discomfort. That's why pancreatic cancer is so fucking deadly, because by the time it's it's discovered, it's already, like, in, in stage three to four, because it takes so long for the pain to either spread to other parts of the body or to just be felt to the point where it's inoperable or untreatable. It's just, it's just a guaranteed death sentence at this point in our medical um, stage of mankind. And uh, stomach cancers, uh, liver cancers... Uh, fucking even gallbladder, uh, kidneys. Those things are bad, man. Those things are, are just absolutely brutal to get through. To just to just be hit with. Yo, Debbie Downer over here on this fucking hot spicy stream. Sorry, spitting out some hot spicy, you know, life facts. That Yeah, sorry about that. Ah, oh, nice. Huh. I, the mother phlegm is now retaliating me, okay, for what I just did. I just napalm the, the mother phlegm, and she's she is coming back with a vengeance to just clog up my my nasal passages. Thankfully, there is no heat left in the mucus glands that's been washed away. It's just I am now just getting congested. So it clears out your nasal passages real fast, but if you start talking for like an hour on on Twitch. Dot com, then it's going to get real pissed off at you again. Oh. Oh, shit. Those things are hot. Fucking hell. <laughs> Do another one. That'd be, it'd be a shame if you just did another one. <laughs> no, I will only... Because, again, Twitch actually just did... Um... Um... Up its code of contact... Uh, or... Code of conduct for streamers and like literally the last couple days it's like yeah you can't be like oh if i get a hundred more streamers i'm gonna just down an entire bottle of vodka and it's like damn it no fun allowed damn it however i did the stream responsibly so cheers oh. this has been a very very good october I'm, I'm, I'm having fun, and it ain't over yet. We're only halfway through this month. I hope everyone's enjoying the, the spooky times. The weather's been shit the past few days, but it's supposed to clear up by the end of the week. So, oh. I'm not doing any more Oktoberfest for the rest of the this season, though. It just, this is, this is it. I'm getting this out of my system. Oh, man, I, I really did get, like, an entire half bottle of bourbon for $4 on Friday. That was, that was a good deal. <laughs> it was by no means top shelf bourbon, but hey, I didn't say no. Uh, I was going to talk about stuff during the stream, like, like things that have happened, but I'll save those for an actual story time, uh, stream with Isaac. This one, this one's just, this one's about the spice. Okay. Where's my sandworm? Where's, where's, where's my fucking, uh, just where, where's my shit? I'm, I'm, I'm king of the spice. Boozled. Get constantly boozled all the time. Gotta read the small print on those contracts. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. I am very gassy right now from, from the, the chemicals and burbling around in there. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna break down the actual eating experience from that pepper. I, I forgot to do that earlier. Got a little distracted, so let me let me break this down. 
So, a fresh ghost pepper, such as this one, is it's a lot more dense and uh, harder to bite through than like a, if you just took a bite out of a bell pepper. A bell pepper's crisp. This one, these things get dense because they wrinkle up and they, they get fucking angry. Uh, the ribbing and the seeds are, you know, ribbing and seeds. Uh, skin is a bit more, it, you can feel it. It's, it's like a waxy, oily type of thing. And I'm not going to handle this one too much because this does have a breached hold to it. And you should not handle them at all, if possible, without having gloves on. But I, I, I had to show off Twitch. I had to demonstrate it, so now it's done. Because it will leave that residue on your hands. So, it's, uh, I took two bites out of that pepper. If you can, if you, if you do try what I just did, and in a, a safe condition, the best way to do it is just one bite. Two bites is terrible, because the first bite I took out of that, as soon as you breach the chemicals, it is instant it goes straight to the back of your throat it just it just fucking coats your tongue coats your mouth coats your saliva glands coats everything in 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 the mouth as soon as it and you're just like ah oh, and then the air comes in and you have that instant reaction of like oh god i made a huge mistake and then i took the second bite and then i you know ate the whole thing and all that so the more bites you take out of it the more tortured this is you want to do it in as few bites as humanly possible. All right. As my professional, um, professional take on that. The flavor doesn't taste like water no more now that they're ripened. It's, it's not the same floral as once it's actually cooked or pickled or allowed to, to, uh, build up through either pickling, roasting, um, broiling, charring. All those bring out the floral notes into to ghost peppers. Because they are much more um, sweeter pepper out of all the hot peppers. This one, it wasn't, it wasn't bitter. It wasn't tart. It wasn't super sweet. But it did have a good, like, like bite to it. Like a good kick. It's, um, again, it tastes like a ghost pepper. But it doesn't have the same, um taste as it would if it was cooked. It's the same, like, if you just took a bite out of bell pepper versus one that's been cooked, different taste profiles. Heat, heat brings out and caramelizes and, you know, allows the flavors to, to, uh, to bloom, to blossom. But it was, it was more than just eating water. Let's put it that way. Very spicy water. So, they're definitely ready to be harvested at this point because... I got a few more growing up here, and it's probably mm, a couple more days. There's a few that are still green and a bit, you know, yellow compared to being that bright, searing fucking um, orange. And so I'm going to leave them on the vine maybe for the next couple of days. Not more than a week because they, they got to start getting harvested. And then this plant is starting to die at the end of the season because plants, you know, have life cycles. So... If I can, I would like to divert any type of energy the plant's giving to these up to these bad boys so I can possibly get maybe even like a smaller little batch to do. Because this thing, if this goes, grows up to here, all right, that's going to still take another like month for it to even to start to turn red. And honestly, I don't know if it's worth even processing the, the fruit if it's still green Outside of just getting the the chemical out of it, maybe green ghost peppers would be good to try for like a like a, a, a you know an anti-inflammatory uh, cream versus the fully ripened ones because the fully ripened ones are for food. Lunatics who have just absolutely no sanity left, but food nonetheless. But I could see the green ones being used more for like medicinal purposes. Because there is literally no flavor to a green ghost pepper. None. It's just it's just heat. No. Like I've said, do not process these things. Do not cook these. Do not uh, open them up. Do not, like, even as soon as I took a bite out of that, that pepper right there, and it's still, the, the stem was right here, and I'm not 
touching it at all right now before, you know, the, the stream ends, is as soon as you unlock, as soon as you reach the flesh and the juices start flowing, it's, it's open season. There's no putting the genie back into the bottle. It's you're dealing with this now and it's going to be a problem until you make it stop being a problem. So you cannot, ca like, cross-contaminate this with a normal everyday type of kitchen or cookingware. You can't. Once once this fucker hits whatever you're using, it's going to be used consistently for these fuckers or anything spice-related. I, I, I mean, dear God, it is. It just... It just imprints itself into whatever it's going to be touching. It's like it's like how Greek fire can't be put out by water because it's a chemical fire. This is a chemical fire. This is a chemical reaction. This is not just, uh, you know, physical fire. This is whatever it's touching organically. It's going to burn. That's that. I mean, I'm I'm. It's just that's the fact. Though these things are designed to just fucking burn whatever they come onto contact with. <laughs> so do not, do not treat them lightly. Fire from heat. Forge in the mountains of Mount Doom! Oh, God. So, again, I, I, I really would like to make my own hot sauces, but... I have been stuck in the the brainstorming phase of of what type of what type of various lane do I want to go down with this? Because hot sauces, okay, the world of hot sauces is, is is wild and wacky. You either go down the the mythical cryptid zone, you either go down like the the ass blasting completely burn out your fucking digestive system zone. You either just Make it like like spooky ghost things or skeletons or reapers or stuff like. And it's like, what? I was thinking maybe going more towards like an authoritarian fascist regime type of naming process. Like you got you got Law and Order, you got the Iron Fister. Okay, you just <laughs> why not crossing that thin blue line? Why I, hot sauces had to be completely tactless. It's just ass blasting, just nonstop, just fucking uh, dead men walking type of things just no no grace no dignity whatsoever because you know what the results are going to be after you eat these things okay hot sauces are not allowed to be classy uh, <laughs> do i just do i just slap sexy pinup girls onto the bottle like what, what, what am i gonna do here i'm just the the creative juices are flowing okay I'm, 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 I'm workshopping here, guys, all right? <laughs> Dude, there are a lot of hot sauces that will just say ass-blasting on them. It's like, you got, you got, like, Toilet Destroyer, uh, Blood Shitter, you know, and it's like, Habanero. <laughs> like, these names go hard. For the low-end spice tier 2, which is the funniest part. She's like, guys, come on, just please, stop it. Chipotle sauce is in no way in the same league as these motherfuckers right here. I got these plants for free. I... Salud. Oh, but yeah, I had, a, I had a great season this year for... Um, <clears throat> for bell peppers and the, the ghost peppers. I'm still, I kind of, my, my, my vegetable crisper is just filled with bell peppers right now. They're so good. Oh. Oh, they're so freaking good. <laughs> Didn't do any squashes this year. Because the problems with squashes is you just get too many of them and zucchinis. All right. For those of you who don't know, but let's continue down the food talk alley of, of what to do and what not to do with vegetables and fruits. Don't eat poison. Rule number one. Rule number two. So with squashes, they're so fibrous is you actually can get sick from eating too much zucchini, too much summer squash, too much squash in general, pumpkin even, because... Your, your body can't digest all of that at once. 
And so there is a physical point of having too much zucchini, you get a tummy ache, and then you vomit. You can't get, like, murdered by the zucchini, but you will not have a pleasant time. So zucchinis, you, uh, you, you gotta make sure that they're, like, normal looking, like, just, like, just, like, this big. Whenever you get, like, the huge monster zucchinis, which is why when people do, like, those giant pumpkin contests, like, two-ton pumpkins, all right? Those are not for eating. Those are just for, for clout and to, to have fun and stuff like that. And to let elephants eat at zoos. Just just stomping on them, you know, that kind of... I watch weird videos, man. That's just... I, I don't understand why YouTube keeps sending me these things, but I keep watching them. So, like, the elephants just want to stomp on the fucking pumpkins and they have a great time. So the elephant does not need to worry about eating too much pumpkin. Humans do. So after, like... Because the, the, the plant will continue to grow as long as it's receiving nutrients and uh, food source and photosynthesis and any type of energy. So if you leave like a squash, a zucchini, butternut, yellow squash, whatever, just completely unattended to and it becomes like a monster. It's no longer fit for human consumption because it's just too dense of fiber to actually consume. So it becomes, it, it just becomes inedible. Just like how if you let asparagus grow for too long, it physically, it's the sprouts of a, of a plant and it's going to turn into a tree. Same with bamboo shoots. You have to eat them when they're fresh and young before they start turning into fucking bark. You cannot just chew on a tree, okay? You can't eat tree bark. You can, you, it's just facts, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I had to keep shattering everyone's worldview today. I'm sorry, I just, you know, facts. Oh. One Sam Adams down. Hooray. So, the reason I don't want to focus on any of the, the squashes, or like specifically zucchinis, is because uh, one year I, I just had a whole bunch of eggplants. I was like, what do I do with all these? I can't eat all these fucking eggplants. And it's like, give them to people. And it's like, it's, just, it's too much of a hassle. So if you're not actually have any any means or plans to eat the thing that you're trying to grow or to grow it for others, there's really no point in growing it. It's just kind of like a waste of energy and effort. But like if you actually, because um, things that are really nice is like community gardens. If you live in a place where it's more densely urban or you live in an apartment or you just don't have the space to physically do it wherever you are community gardens are great i'm so glad that they're making a resurgence in 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 um america in general because growing your own stuff is uh, a whole bunch of fun and you can eat it it's pretty cool i don't i have i've never seen a ghost pepper sold in an actual store i have no idea how much these things would go through but like bell peppers right now are like holy shit like what, $4 a pound at this point? I was like, god damn. It's getting crazy. Not to be like, oh, everything is broken. Time to live off the land again like our forefathers. No. It's just a mild inconvenience. But an inconvenience just gets under your skin. So, I had no plans of eating as much zucchini that would have grown in my you know, under my, my, my care. And it's like, I don't, I don't know what else to do. Cause everyone's growing zucchinis as well. So it's like, I can't give it. So it's just like, I'll just buy the zucchinis for like a dollar at a farmer's market. And it worked out great. <laughs> so that's what I did. So I just focused on the foods that I knew I would eat and the ones that really caught my interest. So oh, this was a good year. I had fun, but yeah, used to grow like zucchinis and eggplants all the time. It was like, what, what am I doing here? <laughs> what? Why? Why am I doing this? <laughs> I've moved on to the products that now fit my suit and taste. I can only eat so much eggplant parm, okay guys? I can only eat so much. I am tempted to cook one of these as a ghost pepper uh, jalapeno, you know, it's a jalapeno popper, but they're ghost pepper poppers. When I say a ghost pepper popper, it's not like doing poppers. You know, the illicit drug, but like, do, like jalapeno poppers, like stuffed peppers. 
I might do a ghost pepper stuffed pepper, but I will not do that on stream. <laughs> that seems, that seems like overkill. I am not, I'm not, I'm not going to be Gordon Ramsay the fucking ghost pepper, okay? Dude. I can't believe fucking nitrous oxide keeps getting rebranded constantly. You got, you got, you got laughing gas, you got fucking whippets, now you got the galaxy gas. It's just nitrous oxide. Come on, guys. Fun fact, you cannot buy a can of whipped cream in New York State unless you are, I want to say at least 18 years old, but it might actually be 21. It's either 18 or 21 because of the fear of kids huffing, <laughs> fucking, just putting the, the whipped cream sprayer right up their noses, like, listen, this isn't stopping the kids from doing whippets, all right? It's <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> you legally cannot buy whipped cream that is compressed in a can with nitrous in the state of New York without showing an ID. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Oh, God. Meanwhile, again, I'd like to remind everybody that, it, you know, sell, selling the just you know, criminal scum, don't do that. Stop that. Stop that. I can't, I can't get into story times on an already spicy stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Oktoberfest, okay? <laughs> yes. Oh, the, con the congestion's really coming up. Because what, when I first ate the, um, the green ghost pepper that was at full size but not fully ripe and I was outside and I was just like blah just spitting all over the place again I you know I can't do that in my 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 day I cannot just start spitting all over the place okay so just hawking up mucus just hot ton all over the place 2014 was a year 2024 is a year let's put it that way okay <laughs> dude i remember being as a kid like just standing behind cars while the exhaust is going it's like oh man this is awesome <laughs> <laughs> then you start to violently vomit and you have no idea why that would be the case everything was going great <laughs> But when is there going to be a Mr. Beast brand galaxy gas vape, okay? I'm going to get to story times on a different stream. Not tonight. Oh, oh my God. It's already three in the morning. Hot damn. Whew. So yeah, no, like the first, first couple minutes, like the first five to 10 minutes of taking a bite out of that thing, you do not want to, I wanted to talk the whole time, but as soon as you open your mouth and you let the air come in to just fan the flames it is it is painful it is it's just a so you just want to just you know chug a snapple during your trying time let me actually just shotgun this thing real quick because this has now been contaminated with ghost pepper saliva so let's get rid of this spicy boy Oh yeah, <clears throat> I had a bit of a kick to it. So, with a chemical burn, you can't just put it out with water. You have to, um, you have to counteract the burn with, you know, the opposite in pH. So, vinegar. I highly recommend if you ever do have like a cup of vinegar just to to swash around your mouth and spit out. That's a, a good way to. Um, to get rid of a good amount of the burn at once. That's a professional tip right there. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar will indeed suck to just have in your mouth for like 30 seconds, but not as much as letting this burn for 10 minutes, okay? It's, it's, it, you're gonna have a bad time no matter what, all right? It ain't pretty, but damn, that's worth it. For a psychopath, let's put that one. All right, I think I have achieved what I set out to do. I am thrilled at the results of this bountiful harvest. These fuckers are hot. So yeah, this is 
Ooh, <laughs> spicy. Ooh, that's a lot of spice. I am. I. I honestly can't believe how good these things came out. And so the second plant is still almost still trying to ripen up to this one. Uh, that poor third plant. But I will. I will take each day as is. I will. I will continue to uh, tend to my crops as needed. And I. I after eating that fully ripened pepper, I. I just need to get the spritz bottle to keep putting away from this. She's a little freak. A little tiny freak just starts chewing on the fucking leaves. It's like, stop it, you idiot. Stupid little idiot. And she just looks at me and she's like, meh. And it's like, stop. And then she steals my cinnamon rolls. And I was like, why? Where did I go so wrong, my son? My child? My very special girl? <laughs> Alright. Oh, uh, I am... I am very happy with this. Oh! Okay, little bit of advice. More, more about gardening and stuff like that. So, uh, when I was um, early on in the season, when I was I was first got these plants and started repotting them and, and you know making sure they're they're also you know you got the the clips right here attached to oh well let me actually right here so you got one clip right here to keep it stabilized with a stake that's right there to keep it straight. And so when they first started to begin to sprout, because they again they were like this fucking big and just no leaves they were just twigs and uh i started to notice like the hornets were gathering all around with the uh, the other um uh flowering uh plants the 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 botanical part of the garden and uh oh night night thanks thanks for stopping by rats give 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 pigeon a good squeeze just just squeeze the cat just give her a little squeeze just, just, just squeeze the cat just a little bit, just squeeze. Cause she's a good girl. She's a little squeeze. She was squeeze. Okay. So, anyways, when I first started uh, to do um, the 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 food plants, the pepper plants, and all that, I noticed a whole bunch of hornets, and I'm like, "There's gotta be a nest around here somewhere." And sure enough, look up into the catio, and the hornets start making themselves a little paper mache craft projects. Like, no, you stop that right now. And so, if you're dealing with a small hornet's nest, and this was only like, like, it was about like that tall, so maybe like, what, 10, 15, maybe 20 combs at most, very small, uh, very manageable. And there was about maybe like, mm, eight or 10 hornets around in that area. All I did is I got a spritz bottle. Now, my family is extremely allergic to, to, uh, weapon or uh to well to weapons but to insect venom uh, a couple of my relatives have severe uh bee sting allergies to the point where they need epi pens i have never been stung by a bee at all in my life i probably am allergic to them because the only time i've ever been stung was by a hornet like a big fucking wasp in the middle of a Walmart, just this motherfucker came out of nowhere like a fucking Apache attack helicopter. Got me right at my thumb. And I've had that scar there ever since. My, my fucking thumb swelled up for like two weeks straight. And it was just pain. So I probably am allergic to, to bee and wasp venom and shit like that. But they don't sting me. So it's like, cool. So I I, I just, I got the spritz water. You just spritz them on a, on a, on a um, clear day. Or at least I... I should not say you. I should say what I did is I got out the spritz bottle, just put it on the um, the squirt instead of the misting, and just did that until they get so soaked that they just fall to the ground. Not to kill them. You don't want them to die because you want them to, to keep thriving and pollinating the other plants. You just can't let them build a nest because that becomes a massive fucking problem, at least on your property where you live. If they want to do it in a tree... Go for it. Have funsies. I, I welcome the, the hornets to to bring me bounties because they're part of the environment. It's just that I don't want them in the actual fucking wood of my house. So, bees and hornets cannot, well, most insects cannot fly in the rain, which is why they seek shelter. So, if they start to get wet, 
they will fall and they, they can't attack you or anything like that. Now there's, you know, people who do the professional hornet removers, just like extreme power wash, like, you know, just, just cut through like a big massive nest. Like those people are psychopaths. Just, just stop it. <laughs> so with a smaller nest that's more maintained, you can individually soak the, the wasp, uh, to get them out of the, the nest. And then what I did is I got a leaf and I transplanted them onto the flowers so they could go back and dry off into the in the sun and then to get nectar and pollen to, to you know, build their strength back up. And as soon as all the wasps were evacuated from the nest, just chuck that thing right into the trash. And that's how... And they, they tried doing the paper mache project one more time and then after that they never did it again. They still, like, live underneath, like, the roof, but they don't build anything. That's fine. If they just want to hibernate and not keep making, like, nest, I got no problem. But as soon as they start making arts and craft paper mache time, not about that. Another way to keep hornets from, uh, building nests in the first place is actually if you get, like, a, 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 you know, a paper lantern and paint it brown and make it look like a hornet's nest, they'll just be like, okay, this... This territory is already being claimed, and they just won't build anywhere near it. So, uh, if you make arts and crafts before nature does, they'll leave you alone. <laughs> that's that's what happened. So, that was my non-lethal way of evicting the, the hornets out of my property. Nice. And I was rewarded. I, I treated them well. You know, they, they gave back. So, there you go. Okay. It is three... Oh, 09 in the morning. Today was a Monday? Yeah, today was a Monday. Uh, what the hell am I gonna do on a Tuesday? I don't know. Either way, streams will be coming back. We're almost done with Elden Ring DLCs. I'll be doing the spooky streams uh, very soon for, for Halloween. There will be many spooky times. We got other things in the mix, but... You know what? I, I, I like doing these these uh, special little wild and crazy variety streams as well. So don't normally do uh, food food uh, streams, but I guess I did a ghost pepper mukbang. So good job for me. And thanks for watching, everybody. I had a, I had a good time. That was... I couldn't ask for any more. They've made me proud. I really would like to do scotch bonnets. I think Carolina Reapers... Might be too much, but I think Scotch Bonnets would be a good balance between the Ghost Peppers and, uh, you know, instead of just going straight to Reapers. I am not dealing with Scorpions. Not doing that. That's, 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 that's asking for trouble, okay? That's asking for too much trouble. So again, thanks for watching. I did not throw up. I did not make an ass of myself, so apparently I'm a terrible streamer. I'm sorry, guys. I'll never make it on kick. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess I get the reward of being a responsible human adult. Fuck! How am I supposed to cash in on the clout like, like that? Damn it! Fuck! Damn! Balls! Alright, so anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, this was a spicy time. We, we, we get those glizzies, okay? We get those glizzies good. We get them nice. So, uh, again, too long didn't read. Uh, don't be a lunatic like me, Okay? I'm legally allowed to. I'm a fucking official maniac. All right. All right. I'm allowed to do crazy ass shit. All right. Not you. Me. Me. This guy? Yeah. Not you. No. Mm -mm. Cut it out. Stop that. Don't do it. The more you know and knowledge is power. So then again, thanks for watching everybody. Had a, had a good time. Uh, Gee who controls the spice controls the universe. So until next time, stick around, stay tuned, and... Peace out. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, okay. Bye, toodles. Bye.